I need to decide who do I want to pick. Don't want to stick with Susan though. Don't want to pick Aswell. Don't want to pick Targer. We don't want to pick Tager. I do actually feel like Tager would be a really solid pick overall against Naoto. Because it's kind of the same case as like Makoto or Bullet. Where you have these characters who do have strong offensive pressure. But in order to run that strong offensive pressure, they got to be right up in your face. And that is the exact spot you don't want to be against Tager. So I actually do think that uh, Tager would probably do very, very well against Naoto. A good Tager. I.e. not me. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I don't have a good anything. It's just such a sad disappointment. I used to be decent. I used to be. Oh, I just want to be decent again. All you gotta do is play. That's all it takes. Just time. Oh, fuck. Why does that not work? God damn it, I'm an idiot. Ugh. I need to remember on standing to do... Fuck. That kind of scared me a bit. No, nah, don't punish me. Nice, nice anti. I deserve that. I need to stop hitting buttons when I come in that high. Okay, I can't press that button. That's a... Uh, oh, that was a reset. So, oh, god damn it. I don't know all this character's reset stuff. Oh, okay, that must be... I don't think that looks safe. I think I could have if I had done... I had pressed 5B. Oh, nice, nice over. It doesn't even give me a chance to block. I was looking to uh, block something. An alpha counter out. But he hit me with the overhead. But I think I might have been able to beat that if I had used 2A or 5A. Let's get that unlock real quick. The DP that I'll probably forget to use all the time. A bad idea. It's okay, that's not terribly punishing. I blocked that! I blocked that! <gasps> Why did I get hit? Right, I need to start barrier blocking. Like that's that's I can't I can't be allowing that to happen. Nice call! If I just pressed the button, I would have blown him up, but he called me out. Oh, how the fuck did he end up on the God damn it, stop going on to the other side of shit. <laughs> God damn it. I'm just not fast at my rate. I I'm sitting I'm actively sitting up. This is a this is a match. See, it's very different. Like, when I'm just chilling here, and I'm just relaxing, and I'm just trying to play some matches, I'm sitting here, I'm kind of slouched a little bit, leaning back in the chair, I'm not really in, like, a serious posture, I'm just kind of chilling and enjoying myself. I gotta take this seriously. This is real. So I'm like, I'm actually sitting up, I got straight back, good posture, my elbows are in, they're not kind of all fucked up on the arms and shit, and uncomfortable and whatnot. It's real now. <laughs> I gotta... I gotta play this real. Cause I mean everything that I'm doing against this guy is like I'm I keep fucking up on my reactions because I'm just kinda talking a little bit too much. And so I'm not blocking cross-ups fast enough. You know, like I'm in the middle of a sentence and he crosses me up and I'm just like, oh shit, I should have blocked that, but I was too busy running my goddamn mouth. I'm just gonna we're gonna do one match. I'm just gonna shut up, mostly. If he, like, fucks me up in a big way, or if I feel like there's something I need to explain, I'll talk. But, I'm just gonna be silent. I want to see how much of a difference it makes. I want to focus. I'm gonna put on my game face. God damn it, he's so bad at roll catching. Sorry. That is actually very meaty, huh? I said I wasn't going to talk. Habits die hard. Go away. No, come on! That was supposed to be a burst, by the by, just in case you were curious. Okay, so that didn't work. I just need to start. I'm going to start too soon. Here. 
Okay, that was a terrible. I need to actually react to that. Not just do it. Oh, I thought I was holding the button. Oh, I thought I ticked. God damn it. I keep thinking I'm doing everything right, and then it all goes wrong somehow. Shit. Nice tech. All right, I need to. I should be wary of that. I can't block that. Why? Quit any buttons. Fuck off. Quit calling me out. Can he? Oh, I thought he. Oh. I checked that way too late. See, that's what I get for talking. I said I wasn't gonna talk. Bullshit. You had to have heard those button for that button press. That was in time. Fuck you, game. Nice. Good. Good. Smart. Smart to complete. Like that is everybody smart. Even the my player knew to disrespect the. Fuck out of me, mid block string. I need to be aware of that with this character. See, the thing is, I keep telling myself before I start playing every single time 6B, 6B, 6B. Never do not use his C buttons outside of confirms. Just don't do it. There's too many gaps, there's too much shit that you can just run through and body me. Don't say mad super, that was mad smart. I mean, unless you're saying like it's a bad super, I don't know. Um, but yeah, like, I just, the moment you hit his C buttons or his D buttons, they are so slow on startup that there's huge gaps in between all of them. I think probably the only one that's, like, actively safe is maybe 5C into 2C. But even then, a lot of times you actually, like, if you're barrier blocking, they'll actually get pushed out of range and then you just whiff punish the 2C for free. Pro tips. Um... But yeah, so like I need to just I need to stop. And I just need to be using 6B, 5B. I need to be Can you I need to figure out what exactly I I wonder if I can jump cancel 5C. That might be a good thing to do. Like I might be able to go into 5C, but I need to stop. I need to figure that out. But I need to not do 5C, 2C. I need to not do 2C into 6D, 5D, 2D, none of that. I got to stop all of it. And I know that. What the fuck? Oh, uh, man. I kind of thought I was going to call him out there for a... Uh... Okay, so that's mad safe. I think we already figured that out, didn't we? Oh, shit! Yeah, I, just, I don't expect it to have... That was definitely supposed to be... Okay, 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 I can't hit I can't hit shit during that. If he charges it up, yes, but otherwise no. Oh. Good TP, good TP. God! Oh, come on! Good. All right. I I already said. Oh, I thought I thought for sure I'd be over that. me off with any one of those hits and he just kept on mixing me up that's air unblockable I actually blocked that time but I didn't I thought I did I didn't think to barrier until like literally right when I got hit shit man okay I gotta have better combos I gotta see the biggest thing that I keep unlocking 
his 214B, that spin move. And you can use that mid combo on standing grounded opponents, which you actually you land hits a surprising amount of time against standing people. Um and so to do that you have to do like I mean you can do it I think I'm pretty sure maybe you have to do so I'm pretty sure even just 5D60 confirms in that then you can do 214B after that but whatever in the 6D because that only actually works it won't work on crouching because it's kind of like Bang's 5C where the hitbox actually starts when he lifts it up above his head but it doesn't hit crouching opponents until he starts like he's about I don't know like a 45 degree angle at his arm and it's kind of the same with Susano. It takes longer for the active frames to hit a crouching opponent than it does to hit a standing opponent. So because of that, 6D doesn't work the majority of the time for crouching confirms. But it does work for standing confirms. And I need to be using it. And I need to be doing that in the 214B because then that gives me a juggle in the air. and it, I, I need to be using that and I'm not. How fast is 6B? Oops. I have no idea how that missed me. Oops, I fucked. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for bursting. Oh, come on, I barriered that! Maybe I did it just a bit too late again. I should have I should attack that. I should attack that. There's no reason for somebody to get a dash up free goddamn throw on you. Shit! Unless you're in the middle of talking like a fucking idiot. Oops, I'm an idiot. That throw reject miss lasted mad long! I, I actually backdashed that to try and call it out. I tip that fuck! I tried to backdash that to call it out, but Susano's backdashes isn't good enough to actually allow me to do that. Oops, I fucked up. I didn't actually know that worked. I don't need to. I, that, that was stupid of me. Why the hell did I press that? High enough, or I wasn't low enough. <laughs> okay. I can't. Uh, it was not second throws. It's free. Oh, I'm dead. It's so much easier. Shit. This is kind of like I feel like I'm making like this dude's just better than me, straight up. But I feel like I'm making progress with Susano. But I also feel like I would make a better case of myself with Asriel, and it would might be more fun, but the thing is you never know, right? Like, so many people hate playing against Asriel. They don't want to play against that character. And so you never know if some, I mean, granted, if you know who I am, which this dude does, uh, you should probably kind of be expecting. You know, he just beat me five times in a row. No, fuck it, I'm sticking, I make, I feel like I'm making progress and I'm getting better, even if it's not good enough to beat him yet. I'm getting better, and eventually I'll get to a point where the games will be interesting for him. That's where I want to be. And that's where I've. That's why I haven't. This is the reason why you're seeing live, not actually live, but you are seeing the reason why I haven't been saying like, "Hey guys, I'm online. I'm here. Come see me," because I don't think I'm good enough to make interesting games out of it yet. And I, I don't want you guys to be like, "Oh man, this dude sucks." I'm just mopping the floor with him. I want to be in a good place. Where I'm not sitting here questioning my every move, where I'm not, where I'm just, where I'm just good, like I used to be, but I'm not yet. But I can be. I just gotta invest the time. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, that's where I, that's where I need to be, and that's where I want to be, and so that's why I haven't been saying like, hey guys, come see me. I got a room open, or I'm it, you know.
Okay, yeah, that's mad insane. I'm an idiot. I didn't mean to do that. I was I, that was a panic burst. Straight up panic burst. I took that. Is there something funky? Nice, good DP. I tried to fucking alpha counter and he threw me. Damn it! Oh shit! I was not expecting him to go. I need to start blocking that. I thought he was gonna throw me for sure. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! My defense against Naoto right now just sucks. There's just so many things that, like in my brain, it just it seems like something that would be unsafe, and so I treat it like it is. That was a completely accidental block, by the by. Did not mean to block that overhead. I have no idea how to like actually confirm that shit. God damn it! God, I don't know why I didn't even- Oh my god, those are just- Oh shit! I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot! I just- I- That was my round in the bag? I did super! Come on, game! <laughs> that sucks. That's what I did the first time though and it should've worked. So fuck it! Like, I was ready to rapid cancel that, obviously, but that should have worked the first time. I never should have gotten thrown. Good DP. I'm not respecting it. Fuck! Okay, I don't know why I'm not respecting that. Why I think, like, oh yeah, I can hit him after that shit. Good. Oh my god. Help. Just fuck perfects. Now we're okay. Oh god damn it, that was so stupid of me to throw out. I just saw that something hit and was like, hey, let's fucking go for it. You fucking moron. God damn it. First round was mine. I almost choked the second round. I have no closing power with this character. Oh, god damn it. There's just such a long path ahead of me to actually be... And the, and the big thing, too, is that, like... Because I've mentioned it before. I don't care. Like, I'm not trying to sit here and grind out the abilities to be able to go walk into EVO and win it. I don't care about that. But it does still, you know, like, I, I am sitting here learning a character, understanding this time if i actually if i actively wanted to win this time would be so much better spent on asriel than it would on susano i just need to i mean one of the big things that i need to do is i need to do more baiting i need to like whenever i dash in i almost always hit a button i very rarely just empty dash i don't even mean like empty dashing into a low i literally mean just like empty dashing and blocking the entire time and seeing what the opponent does, that kind of thing. I almost always hit a button. So it makes me very predictable, and it makes it so like, oh, he's in the air, I'll anti it. And there's no risk inherent to that, because I do the same thing every time. Late, late, goddammit. Fuck! That was, that was mix-up. That's the big problem, is like... God damn it, I need to... How do you even react? I honestly don't even know. Fuck, he got to charge that for so much longer than I expected him to be able to. Then I was talking, and I got thrown. Fuck. God 
half his damage help. Totally deserved. Ah, oh, it doesn't work! That still punished me? Shit! I choked again! Ah! I did. I tried to super again, because I, again, I have 100 meters, so why not at least try it? I think I had DP too, why didn't I just do that? Oh, okay. get 6A right there! There is never a single fucking situation in this game that you would ever want to block string into 6A. I don't know how that happened. Holy shit! I, uh, like, I have no idea what happened there. Because I tried to barrier, which is the exact opposite of 6A. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Oh, shit. How do you even... I just... After that, see? Now I know when I'm getting downtrodden a bit. <laughs> when I'm getting stomped so fucking hard that the inexplicable is starting to occur. I just, like, immediately slouched back down in my chair. I became a blob. I didn't even have any skeletal structure anymore. I just fucking folded in on myself. Oh, God. How did I get 6A? That's like, I think the only move more punishable than that is 4D. I'm pretty sure that's the only move that Susano has that is more punishable. Fuck! So, first <laughs> so mad. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. Fuck! Ah! Fuck that. It's a terrible start. Oh shit, nice old red. I don't even know if he meant to do that because he didn't confirm it at all. That and he still ugh. I need to figure out how to like actually tell if that's <laughs> that sucks. Oh man, I wasn't even paying attention to this dude's meter. Block that on reaction. That's not fast enough to not block. Fuck. I thought I might be able to delay cancel that in the 6B and then it didn't delay cancel and then it became awkward. I'm also massively underestimating the hitbox on that move. I, think, I believe that's 60. Am I dead again? I, I can't beat this dude with Susano right now. I cannot beat this dude with Susano right now. I'm not good enough. I think I'm gonna, for the last couple matches, I'm gonna switch to Azreal. If I keep getting blown up, I'm gonna admit defeat, walk away with my tail between my legs. I'm just not enough of a bully yet with Susano. You know what the big thing is? Is that I keep doing things, and I'm not going into 6D or 2D and just being confident in it.
Because, I mean, that is, that's just that's a straight 50-50. There's no, there's no reacting to those moves. It is just strictly a 50-50. But then part of me is just like... Because it's a 50-50 that is very much... I don't know, I guess the risk and reward is pretty much like, if you land it, you get a full combo, providing you have any of the special moves unlocked that you need to actually confirm them. If you don't land it, the opponent gets a free punish. 2D is much, is significantly less of a danger, less of a risk for you. Because I think that's all, like, I'm pretty sure I've only ever seen that punished by A buttons. But 6D is like, I would say probably double digits negative on block. I had him. Just recover so fucking fast. He keeps calling me out with that, and I need to stop letting him. Especially when I'm gonna eat fucking 6k, 5k off of that! No, it's still going! Nice DP, Nate. I did not mean to do that. Wow, never mind. Never mind, I'll let Susan no play left my ass real rusty too. And my execution went to shit. Like, that's double super jump whatever the fuck I got. He stood up in the middle of that too. God damn it. Fuck! I didn't think he would push him back that far. Wow, that has really good invincibility, huh? Wasn't expecting that. Good DP. That has invincibility? Why? Fuck that. Oh, I didn't even know that was a low. Okay? I mean, he had a burst anyway, but like, I don't... Oh my god, why did that cross me up? God damn it. What? Okay. <laughs> and I fucked up so many times where, like, the cross up into the rapid, into nothing. Did I even get any of my DPs? I don't think I did. <sighs> it's that point where you gotta wonder. Am I just an old man now? Past my prime? I think I'm reacting in time, but in reality, I'm 13 seconds too late. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, this dude goes 10-0 on me. That, that's when you throw in the towel. And you're just like, all right. Back to the drawing board. Back to get better. But it really is just like... If I spent all this time, think of, like, the 100 or so matches. I think I played a little bit less than that with Susano, but I played around, like, 40 here and, like, 50 in player matches. If I put all that time into Azrael and I consolidated it into, like, actual close by each other, I'd be competing with this dude rather than just getting my ass whooped. <laughs> and so that is kind of like, do I really want to learn Susano? Do I really want to learn a character that is very limited initially and can just get... A train run on him if you're not careful. <laughs> Fucking hell. I am really rusty if I'm missing that. Okay, I'll just press buttons. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Nailed it! I can't believe he didn't stand up there! Why does it have invincibility? Oh nice, I wasn't even- I was not paying attention. I was thinking that combo was gonna keep going. Good TP. I deserve that. 
I'm not respecting him at all, and every single time I disrespect him, he DPs me for it, and I deserve it. God damn it, that rapid fire! Oh! I cannot believe- Did you see how far away he actually was from me and that shit hit me anyway? Bullshit! God damn it, he called me out. I was out of range of that and I just saw it and I thought he would keep charging. I can't believe this dude. He's patient when he needs to be and I'm... Oh, nice! I think that was meant to be a cross up, but it's still, I mean, it chased me. It chased me down regardless, so it doesn't matter what it was meant to be. Shit, man. I got a lot of work to do. I got so much work to do. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, yeah, look at that. It knows exactly what I want. Dude, dude, never, never say sorry. But you'll see this. I'm too lazy to type all that shit out. You're a good fucking player. Never be sorry for it. Deliver all of the ass beatings you desire to fucking deliver. Every single one. Never apologize for it. It is the on the onus is on the other motherfucker that you just beat black and blue to get better and stop eating those beatings. It's the exact opposite of real life <laughs> uh but yes yeah, so i mean i got i got i can't what the fuck why can't you just press b and leave shit why the, why does it default the fucking no but yeah i got because uh, part of me just really wants it like because the thing is with susano is like he's so f he's a very it just it all comes back to the conversation i had with dacid bro fucking years ago and how he said, like, I just, I gravitate towards... Asriel, I think, is the first character that ever kind of broke the mold. But I always pick those, like, all-or-none characters. Where it's just, you're either 100% in, and you win. Or you don't get in first, and you lose. And that's kind of how it was. Like, that's how it is with Tager. That's how it was when I picked, uh, when I first started playing Street Fighter. I picked Honda. Um, and that's how it was with all these characters. Like, they didn't really have anything... Well, Honda's actually not that great... If you actually understand, well, I didn't at the time. I kind of just thought it was like anybody that had a fireball, he beat him because he just he was so anti-zoning. But uh, anybody that didn't, you just curb stomp them. But it wasn't quite that simple. But it was still like you know, when at a low level, it really did appear that way. That it was just he was a 50/50 character. He just blew up 50% of the cast, got blown up by the other 50%. Tager blows up 50% of the cast, gets blown up by the other 50%. Um, and that's just. That's kind of how it is with Susano, except it's like it's not that he gets blown up by 50% of the cast. It's just you get blown up 50% of the time because you never manage to get rolling, and then everything goes wrong, and you're just soaring downhill at a rapid rate, and it just all goes to shit immediately. Like, but yeah, anyway, like I said, never ever, especially not to me. Like, if somebody's crying to you and you're just kind of like want to make it go away, then maybe you can say sorry, but don't mean it. But to me. Never feel sorry for me. Never think like, man, I don't want to... I'm really killing this dude. And I don't want to be. I feel bad. Like, is he never going to want to play me again? Hell no. You are exactly the kind of player that I'm going to want to seek out in the future. Because you are a metric. I don't care about the people that I blow up. I don't care about, like, in the future if I am improving... And I'm playing against somebody that I'm trading games against. And then all of a sudden, I start beating them more consistently. And I just keep beating them more and more and more. And they never improve, but I am still climbing that ladder. I don't care about that person anymore. Even though they were very good games initially, they're not improving. But I am. And I want to find the people that are beating me 10-0. That can beat me 10-0. 
because in the future they're not going to be able to beat me 10-0 that's that's the goal right like that's always the goal you always want to find the people that will beat you more than you beat them and then you step your game up and you flip that shit around never feel sorry because i want to be in the position where i can blow your ass up 10-0 and you better fucking believe i'm not going to be sorry for it <laughs> so just saying man you never never to me you never have to say sorry you never have to like pity me you never have to think that i'm gonna have hard feelings toward you handing me my ass on a silver platter it's all good keep doing it it's all i want i guess i'm masochistic i'm out peace